Warning, the following content is extremely sexually explicit in its nature. Viewer discretion is advised and parents, please control your kids because they should not be watching this. I'm saying you gotta get to her ears first with your speech. That's where the real orgasm starts from. You should be kissing her all over her body so she can feel alive. Every part of her body, your words, your touch. It has to live up here. It should drive goosebumps and the sensation down your wife's body, her mind, her heart. Kiss on the neck feels different from the kiss on the chest, between the thighs, between the, on the leg. Like a kiss on different areas feels different. Make her feel different things. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, guys. We got a new device for you guys today. Wow, I'm not holding my phone anymore. I saw that. I saw I was holding that phone for a while and talking using like a mic, but now I officially have a mic. It's the H1N Zoom microphone. It's pretty good. Alhamdulillah, it's my first. It's my first recording making with this besides test one. So I'm excited to be with you guys. Today's topic, guys, is gonna be kind of like uh, uncomfortable uh, for those of us, a lot of us, you know, and. Uh, you know, a lot of times I hear the feedback, SQ, you don't have any haya. And I'm not going to make a joke about this, but I'm, I'm genuinely serious. Like, you don't have any haya. Uh, you don't feel embarrassed. Like, astaghfirullah, like, how can you just so openly talk about this? Uh, let's be clear over here. I wouldn't speak like this if my mom was in front of me. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Like, my mom is all the way in her room, all the way down there, right? The door for the patio, which is usually open with, like, the, the jali for the mosquitoes, that's, like, fully closed. So, like, even the glass door is on it, and it's, like, soundproof almost because it's, like, uh, double glazed or whatever. So, I'm not talking in front of my wife that way. Like, you know, I, I think I would talk in front of my wife because, like, that's my wife, and I should be able to be open with her. I hope you'd be able to be open with your spouse as well. Um... But I wouldn't speak like this for my children because their ears are too sensitive right now. And I don't think it's the right time for them to know about these things and hear about these things. But there will come a time where they need, they need to hear about it. You know why? Because it's going to come to their ears. There's no avoiding it. It's going to come. The message of this is going to come to their ears in the schools. And, and, and you might be thinking, SQ, what if I send them to an Islamic school? That's the solution? Yeah. I'm not saying Islamic schools are not the solution. What I'm saying is that if you rely solely on the school or the setting of the school to raise your children instead of doing that hard work on your own at home, it's not going to work. There is no solution for it besides you being a parent. Simple as that, right? Uh, yeah, take, take that for, you know, straightforwardness. Today's topic is orgasm. Ooh. Orgasm. Even saying that word is just like, ugh, it's weird. You're hearing it. Oh, SQ, okay, okay, brother, don't say it anymore. Orgasm. Just because you said not to say it, I said I'm going to say it even more. A lot of you rookies out there think orgasm is that physical, uh, natural way of you releasing of uh, seminal discharge. You think that's what orgasm is, right? Like, ah, that's it. No. Yeah, that's scientifically what an orgasm is. But today's topic is about how to essentially give your wife an orgasm. And a lot, again, rookies might think that it means down there. But that's not where the orgasm starts from. The orgasm starts from here. Oh, SQ, you're saying I got to bite her ears? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you got to get to her ears first with your speech. That's where the real orgasm starts from. From you saying things to your wife that get her feeling good. Because that's essentially what an orgasm is, making them feel good. And you don't have to like talk dirty to her. Like that's what you think, SQ. You got to make me talk dirty to my wife. I stuck for Allah. Why not? One, why not? I'm not t telling you to do that. That's not what I mean by this. But why not? Why, if you're not going to talk dirty to your wife, who are you going to talk dirty to? The person at work? The person on Facebook? Who? It has to be your wife. Why not? Why not? That's your wife. Isn't she halal for you? A lot of you ask you, can I do this? Can I? What, what can't I do? Why don't you explore everything that you can do? And if you find out that it's wrong, seek Toba and move on from that. Stop always trying to look for, uh, you know, this is, you're going you're to take this out of context. Ah, excuse me, say, don't worry about halal, haram. No, assume everything is halal until proven haram. Except the things that you know, right? Like, I wouldn't do that with the alcohol. Oh, it's, it's halal until someone tells me it's haram. No, 
You know alcohol, pork, these things are haram. You know you're not supposed to go on the backside of your wife. That's it, right? That's it. You know that. Everything else is fair game until proven to you. Okay? Just, just chill out. Have fun with your wife. What is an orgasm, SQ? It's that feeling down there. Is it all those sounds that I've heard in pornos? No. That's not what it is. That's deluded your mind about what an orgasm is. It starts by you entering your wife's ears with your words, with your speech, with your kindness, with, with your compliments, with your praise. Oh, God, you're looking so beautiful today. Mm, it's like Allah made you for me. You flirt with her. You talk to her. You say nice things to her that raises her self-esteem, makes her feel nice. That's where it starts from. Because the next part of the orgasm, once again, don't jump to here. It's not about here. This whole video is not about here. The next point that you jump to for the orgasm is up here. Because straight to the ears is going to her mind. And you're, 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 and ask you, but what, is the next video going to be for men? For men. A guy can stand in front of a toilet, rub one out and be done. Go in the shower, rub one out, be done. Can a woman do this? Sure. But it's a lot more, uh, you know, it's more uh, surgical for her. It's different for her. For a guy, you know, to 15 seconds are just done. You could be done with it. You could, like, you understand, like, a guy is not that deep of an issue. Like, let's be serious here. We're not, right? For a woman, it's different. The orgasm starts over here. It enters here. And this is where you want it to live. You want it to live right in here in the head. Your words, your touch, it has to live up here. It should, it should drive goosebumps and the sensation down your wife's body, her mind, her heart. It should drive a sensation everywhere. And I, I'm not, I hope this is recording. It says it's recording, but I, I've never really used it. So I don't know how like, I would put it on the computer and all that. So I pray that everything works out with the camera and everything like that, inshallah. Allahumma ameen. <clears throat> Your touch should do something to her. Your speech should do something to her. The 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 perfume, the the cologne, the the other, the what you wear, your scent should do something to her. And if it's not doing something to her, that means that you need to go back, revisit your relationship, reflect over your relationship, and make sure it does something for her. Stop thinking about marrying someone else. When things are getting bad between you and them. When you're getting into arguments and fights, stop thinking about bailing yourself out by marrying someone else. Fear Allah. I'm not suggesting that you can't marry someone else. I'm not suggesting that polygamy is not something that's permissible in Islam. I'm not suggesting that. But what I'm saying is that your intent and reasoning to do it needs to be right. Because guess what happens? You marry someone else, you're going to marry a third one too. Because if you treat the second one like you do the first one eventually, which you probably will because you're bringing over that emotional baggage, that character-like baggage to them too. It's only a matter of time that you need a third because, ah, these two bad apples, right? But you're not going to look at yourself. Ah, orgasm, huh? Some of you didn't even click this video. Ugh, that's the key's gonna talk about sex. If I'm not gonna do it, who is? I'm done waiting around, you know? Oh, your sheikh should be doing this, scholar should be doing this. Well, they're not, so I am. Isn't that initiative? Isn't that leadership? Damn. <laughs> SubhanAllah. Anyways, you wanna live in here. Your touch should do something to her, to her heart. It should just like melt her. You should be kissing her all over her body so she can feel alive. Every part of her body. Let your imagination run wild a little bit. Whatever is impermissible from Allah for the backside, stay away from that. Right? Stay away from the whole area. But every other part of her body is permissible for you. So make her feel like it's permissible. Make her feel like she's wanted. Make her feel like, you know, like she hasn't felt alive in a while. Like, make her feel alive. You know, allow her nerve endings to experience different sensations all across her body. You understand that? Like, we have nerve endings everywhere. Like, every, like a kiss on the neck feels different from the kiss on the chest, between the thighs, between the, on the leg. Like, a kiss on different areas feels different. Make her feel different things. That's where the orgasm starts from. What you thought this video was going to be about? 
How, how, oh, oh, ask you, okay, here's the tips. Step one, go down on her. Like, no, that's a part of it, right? That's a part of the kiss. That's a part of doing things and kissing around that area too. Make her feel alive everywhere. And believe me, <coughs> excuse me, when you focus on making her feel alive, by just the grace of Allah, the, the mercy that Allah has put in our spouses' hearts and minds, they're going to make you feel good too. Don't think for a second that it's not going to be reciprocated back to you. The reciprocity of a woman is serious. If you got her feeling really, really good, she's going to make sure that you feel really, really good too. This is how Allah has made women. But we have to make sure that we're doing all those things. Make her feel alive in every part of her body. Every part. Make her feel alive. She should melt. She should melt. Now again, I'm not saying that this is going to happen every single time you have, Oh, SQ, how long this is going to take? You can't, it's not feasible with children. I know it's not. I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult. But eventually when you're married to someone, and before children, I hope you were doing this, Right? Or, or, like, what, what was it? What was it? Did you guys have fun together? Some of you just jumped straight into having a baby. And that's a blessing. Look, a baby is a blessing from Allah. It's a na'mah from Allah. I'm not suggesting that it's not. But I hope that you spent some time together. Because when you have the baby so early on, you might not feel like you've really spent time together, traveled together. If, you, if you're getting pressure from your in-laws to have a baby, tell them, hey, in-laws, this is my marriage. If your husband's in-laws is doing a husband, you know, grow a pair. Tell your parents, listen, I love you guys. May Allah bless you guys. But please don't interfere in my marriage. Say it in the nicest way possible. But that should be the message gotten across. Your mom shouldn't be running the marriage. Is that revelation? Your, your parents shouldn't be running your marriage. It's your marriage. Run it yourself. According to the Quran and Sunnah, of course. Yeah, you respect your parents' decisions. I, I respect your opinions, parents. Give me, bismillah, fadl. Come on, give me. Give me the opinions. Oh, you think I should have a baby next month? Okay, dad, what do you think? I think that she should be doing this. Okay, mom, do you anything more? Yeah, she should be cooking and cleaning too. Okay, mom, no problem. Thank you. Acha, beta, are you going to do it? No. Because it's my marriage. I, I, I respectfully listen to your opinion. Jazakallah khair, mom, may Allah reward. <coughs> may Allah reward you. Dad, thank you. I appreciate your, your your opinions as well. I appreciate you. Thank you. Then you walk away and you live your life. That's it. <laughs> What's happening? Basque, I'm living with my in-laws. I live with my, 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 my wife lives with my mom, which is her in-laws, but she, she thinks of her as her own mom. I think of my wife's mom as my own mom too. You know? It's not. They're, they're your parents, you know? And parents need to back off. If you're a parent watching this, back off. Back off from your children, bro. Like, let them live. You've controlled them your whole life. They've, you've, but, you know, ball, postscape, send them on their way. Kick them out the nest, bro. I'm not suggesting it should be like Gore who kicked their children out at 18. <coughs> but I'm saying that it's like, you know, let them make their own decisions. Let them benefit their own lives and stuff from this point out. Allahumma ameen. Okay. Okay. Look, mosquitoes, these. Machar, bro. Oh, I killed it. Subhanallah. Machar. That's how you give your wife an orgasm. <laughs> That's how you give your wife an orgasm. You know, you, you, you just make her feel complete all around. Spiritually, you've given her an orgasm. I know that sounds crazy. But like you, you, you pray with her and you guys do things together. And if you have kids, it becomes difficult. Maybe my next video is about children and how do you make time for each other when you have children. I, I'll tell you this much. I, my wife and I love taking our children with us out. We never, we're never like, oh, we never meet our own date night. I'm not saying that's not important. What I'm saying is that we love taking our children out with us. Yeah, is it important for a date night between us? But we enjoy, and this is, again, personal preference. Don't think that because your, your, your best friend has told you how they live their life that you need to live your life like theirs. Like, no, that's what works for them, I hope. Or they're not doing it for the khawa. But that's what works for them. What works for you? Figure it out. For me and my wife, us walking to the deli by ourselves, holding hands is without the children is enough. We're okay with that. If we want to do a little cheeky one and go out ourselves, we'll do that too. But that's just what it is. You know, as the kids grow up, it's easier to leave them home with Nammo. It's, it's easier to leave them home and do things like that. So it makes it easier. We just bring them a treat on the way home. But it takes time. But, but be interested in making it work. 
be interested in making it work. That's important too. So um, I think I've successfully uh, accomplished my task of telling you how to uh, help your wife have an orgasm. I think I don't think it's make your wife have an orgasm. Like tell them what to do. Like when they feel comfortable, they'll, they'll have it, right? But it's, it's your responsibility, especially in the beginning of the marriage. I think that I'm going to make it as uh, different segments, right? Like dive more deeper into uh, married life stuff and then uh, beginning of the married life stuff, you know? Because women have to feel comfortable with you. So uh, I think that the title of the video is going to be helping, not how to make your wife have an orgasm. Or it's, it's going to be how to help your wife have an orgasm, you know? Because it's, it's their body. You got to, like, let them process it, you know, themselves. So I think more content like this is about to come. T tell me your thoughts in the comment section below how you like this. Like I said, maybe this is my most watched time ever. People just, like, stuck through it. And, um, you know, who's going to watch this? Parents, if your children are too young, stop them from watching it. Children, it's, it's between you and Allah if you want to watch this or not, you know. I'm not putting no age restrictions, this and that, because I'm no one to tell you what age you should or shouldn't learn this. I'm no one. You're going to learn this either way. I'd rather you learn it from me. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, a.k.a. tomorrow. By the way, I didn't upload yesterday because I just wanted to take a day off. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to take a day off. That's that's all right. It, it wasn't... I, I made other videos, which I'll release later on, but I just wanted to... thought you guys deserve an explanation. But I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until tomorrow, inshallah, I'm out.